Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to hard reset your Amazon Fire tablet. If you've got an Amazon Fire tablet and you're locked out and the password is set on it, I'm going to show you how to hard reset it so you can get it back to factory defaults by using this simple method. It's very easy to do, and I'll show you how to get it done in this video. Now, this is the seven inch uh, Amazon Fire tablet. I don't think it matters what version uh, you're running, whether it'll be one of Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, or even newer ones. Uh, this one is pretty straightforward. You've got your power button up the top here. And also on the top, you have your uh, volume uh, rocker button up here, which you can change the uh, volume on. So what you need to do here is this is the actual Amazon Fire 7 inch here, but it will work with other versions as well. We're going to first power off the actual device here. I'm going to quickly just power off and let it shut down. That's important. Once we get this shut down fully, what we can do is then we're going to uh reset it so what we need to do is go to the very top where you can see the power button and you can also see there is a audio rocker button on there so we want to do the down audio button and also the power button here at the same time so let's go ahead and i'll show you how to do that so push this one and push the actual volume down button push them both together and keep them pressed down until the Amazon logo screen comes up and you will see something looking like this, which says Android recovery. And inside here, you'll see you're going to get a bunch of different options. You can use the rocker buttons up the top to navigate up and down. And you can see we have a few options available. We're going to be going wipe data and factory reset. That's the one we're going to do. Once you've selected that with your rocker buttons, use your power button to execute it and then click on. Yes, I'm sure I want to erase all the information on here. This is going to completely erase it back to factory settings. And you will now get this option saying reboot system now. Once we reboot the system now, you'll get the Amazon logo coming up right here. And once that's erased all of the data on here, it will take a bit of time to boot up. These are not the fastest devices in the world. But once you get them booted up, they work perfectly fine. So I'm just going to let this load in and uh, we'll carry on with the next step. Now, once it's finished erasing all of the data on the actual tablet, it's going to uh, come up with the welcome screen here for setting up your language as if you would when you first purchase the actual tablet. So choose your language here and then choose your country where you live. So I'm just going to quickly check the uh, United Kingdom here and click next and just go through the on screen prompts here. That's all you have to do, really. Just go through here and just select. Uh, what you need to select to get this uh, tablet set up again. So all the data has now been erased from the uh, tablet. And all you need to do here now is select the Wi-Fi settings that you want to select and set up on. So I'm going to quickly do my one and put in my details so I can connect to it and get all the latest updates and also the, the features that will come down on the build here. So let me go ahead and do that. All I need to do now, you can see it saying hello uh, with the name on there all I need to do is basically put in my Amazon password and I've done all this now and you should now see a bunch of stuff here you can set up so I'm going to continue this and go to the next screen and it says meet your fire tablet and you can go ahead and play the video just to skip this part here so I can then skip it once I get to here I'm just going to drag this over and we should then move on to the next screen which it says just a second, and it's going to go ahead and get it all set up for you. So if you want to set up a create a new account for this, this is the same person that is going to have this uh, tablet. They forgot all the information on it. So I'm just going to reset it all and put it back uh, and set it up for them. So I'm going to set it up on my account, and that way um, they're going to have some premium features on here that I'm going to pay for so they can get access to certain stuff on their tablet. So let me go ahead and let this finish off and we'll move on to the next screen, which is this one here. So if you want to set up an account for Audible or use a 30 day trial, you can do. I'm going to say no thanks and skip this part here. And we're going to go ahead and skip this part here for a Kindle Unlimited. And once you've got this up here, you'll be able to see it loading up on the screen and it's just going to get this all ready. We've got the welcome here and uh, you can exit this out or watch the welcome message so I'm going to exit this out and we do need to make sure that we've got all of the latest updates and security updates for this tablet because these would have been removed during the uh, erasing process so what we'll do is we'll go through this here and we can either enable Alexa or 
basically disable it, whatever you want to do. I'm going to disable it because they don't need it. And uh, we can disable it here. And there we go. The tablet is now back at the desktop here of the tablet. And we can now mess around here and set this up. So let me go into settings here. Just want to make sure that we've got all of the latest. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and make sure that we've got all of the latest uh, Android versions on here and all the latest security updates for this tablet. And you can do this in the, the device uh, settings here. And you can check all of those uh, for yourself and go through some of the features that you might want to re-enable because a lot of these have now been reset. So let's go to device options first. And what we'll do is we'll go to uh, the system updates here and make sure we've got all the latest system updates for this particular uh, tablet. So let's go ahead and click on uh, system updates here and it will do a quick update here. You can see it has found uh, the device is running an old version here and we can now update uh, that version to the latest uh, updates here. So we're going to go ahead and let that do a system update. It will take a bit of time and once that's done, it may restart and you may see an update in process along the bottom or in the middle and you just have to let that finish before you can continue. You might have to do this a couple of times because there might be a few updates that you need. And these are system updates which are important because this is going to give you all the latest features for that particular tablet. Anyway, that is how you reset your Fire tablet. Pretty simple and easy to do. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members, whether you're tier one, tier two, or tier three. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.